All right, folks. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at this TalkPod. This is the A36 Plus. This particular model is sold as a ham radio, uh, and we call it a dual band ham radio because it's for use on the two meter and 70 centimeter bands. It does have AM receive on air band frequencies, but this is an FM transceiver for transmit and receive on the ham bands. It's a really popular radio, and uh, the main reasons are, one, it has this USB-C charging port on the back, which is something that folks were asking for. It does have AM airband receive, and it's also priced at around $59, which uh, makes it attractive to some folks. In today's video, what we're going to do is we are going to take a look at the output signal from this radio and compare it to another one and see how it does. Before I get started, I did want to mention that I was contacted by the fine folks at TalkPod and they asked if I would do a video review of this particular product. I like to review products, so of course I said yes, and they sent this to me free of charge in exchange for this video review. If you're the type of person who is triggered by things like that, I would suggest that you go and watch some cat videos. Okay, the radio that we are going to use for comparison is this BTEC DMR6X2. It's one of my favorite HT handy talkie radios that I have. Uh, we're powering it up and the signal is going to come out the antenna port, just like any signal would. It's going to run through some coaxial cable and then a series of attenuators giving us around 50 dB of attenuation. And I'm feeding this into my Rigel uh, oscilloscope. So let's turn the oscilloscope on now and we can see that I have it configured to show a counter. So that's going to show us the frequency we're transmitting on. And then we have a line that will take a look at the signal. Now what we're going to do is we're going to key up and we are going to see a sinusoidal waveform, which is exactly what we expect to see. This is just our FM carrier. Now, when we transmit signals using amateur radio, we take our audible voice and then we overlay that via a process called modulation onto the sine wave. And that helps us send the signal further and then allows us to receive it on smaller antennas because we modulate it on top of a higher frequency. Audible tones are very, very low and they're large waveforms and would require big antennas and they don't transmit as well as the higher frequencies. So that said, when I key this up, you can see exactly what we're looking at and it is a nice, clean carrier sine wave signal. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and I'm going to disconnect this from the radio. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the talk pod radio and let's just go ahead and turn this on. So it boots up and then you can see that it is turned on and it is in channel mode. All right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch it down to the lower band and we are going to transmit on one, four, six, five, two, zero. And let me go ahead and turn the scope back on. There we go. And I am now keying up. And then you can see the good news is that our frequency seems to be stable at 146.52. But what we don't have is a very nice, clean sinusoidal wave. It's actually pretty messy. And as a result, any signal that we modulate on top of this or overlay is going to hold the waveform of the carrier. And that's how that works. And uh, this is not what you want to see. So I did a video earlier, and in that video, I showed the spectral purity of this radio. And as a result of that test, this radio is actually not legal for transmit on the two meter band because it had what's called spurious emissions. I'd encourage you to check that video out too if you're considering buying a product or have purchased a product like this. Um, let's go ahead and key up one more time. And uh, you can see that that is an issue. That is on high power. Let me go ahead and turn the power down to low. And even on low, it's actually messier. So uh, if you want to get one of these, the choice is yours. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, uh, post them below, and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks for watching.